Zip Tie Domes presents How to Use a Geodesic Dome Calculator. Part 5 Panels and Coverings. Every geodesic dome is made up of triangles. These triangles can be covered with plywood or polycarbonate for solid dome panels or with ripstop polyester or canvas for a fitted cover. When you cut your plywood panels, you will need the exact measurements for each triangle so that the edges will fit around the dome. This is a zip tie dome with plywood panels used for an art exhibit in Berlin, Germany. Cutting polycarbonate, reflected mylar, or a fitted plastic sheeting will require the exact dimensions of each triangle. These beautiful domes are manufactured by Gavin MacArthur of Dome Grown Domes in Masterton, New Zealand. When we made a fitted ripstop polyester cover for our dome, we realized that while most dome calculators could tell us the length of the edges of each triangle, they could not tell us how tall our triangles would be. We needed to know the height or altitude of each triangle to know how wide our fabric had to be. The altitude is the height of the triangle from the base to the top. A triangle with an altitude of 5 feet cannot be cut in a single piece from a 4 foot wide sheet of any material, regardless if it is plywood, polycarbonate, polyester, or canvas. In this example, the triangle edges are only 4 feet 7 and a fourth, which gives the triangle an altitude just slightly less than 4 feet, which could be cut from a 4 foot wide sheet of material. So, while the edges of the triangle can be greater than the width of the material, the altitude of the triangle cannot be greater than the width of the material and still be cut in a single piece. So let's talk about triangles. Geodesic dome triangles come in three types. There are equilateral triangles where all three sides are the same length. Isosceles triangles where only two sides are the same length and scalene triangles where all three sides are different lengths. An equilateral triangle only has one altitude as all sides are equal and the altitude is the same on every side. For an isosceles triangle with two sides having the same length, we can measure the altitude down the middle of the triangle. But if you, if you turn an isosceles triangle over and use another side as the base, would the altitude be different? The answer is yes. And for a scalene triangle, where all three sides are different lengths, if you used each side as the base of the triangle, would the altitudes be different? The answer is again yes. You will have three different altitudes. And a geodesic dome calculator should help you find the altitudes of every triangle in the dome so that you can correctly cut your material to cover your dome. So let's find the altitude of a triangle on the dome calculator. Go to www.ziptiedomes.com. Hover your cursor over the dome calculators in the navigation bar and then click on the four frequency dome calculator. Scroll down. There are six different strut lengths for the four frequency dome. Let's make the blue struts five feet long. Click calculate. This makes a 30 foot diameter dome that is 15 feet tall. Let's see if we can build this dome to use 4 foot wide dome covering material. Click on the dome panels and covering link. The first part of the dome panel section shows all the different types of triangles needed to build the 4 frequency dome. There are two isosceles triangles, ABA and CBC, with 30 triangles each. 60 CDF scaling triangles, 30 DED isosceles triangles, and 10 EEE equilateral triangles for a total of 160 triangles. This will not be an easy dome to cover with panels. Scroll down. The 30 ABA triangles have an altitude of 3 feet 2 inches, yet if you turn it on its side, the triangle has an altitude of over 3 feet 8 inches. So how the panel is oriented can make a big difference when cutting the material. 
Scroll down. The 30 CBC panels have almost no difference in altitude based on orientation, and they are both less than 4 feet in altitude. The reason is the B and C struts are almost the same length. One is 4 feet 6 and a half inches long, and the other is 4 feet 6 and 3 eighths inches. So this is almost an equilateral triangle. The CDF scalene triangles have three different orientations each with its own altitude. If we use the D strut as the base, this brings the altitude of the triangle to less than four feet in altitude, and so it could be cut from four feet material. But the DED triangles have an altitude greater than four feet regardless of orientation. And the blue EEE triangle has the greatest altitude of 4 feet 4 inches and cannot be cut from 4 foot wide material. In all of our calculators, the blue struts are always the longest. Let's see if we can get this triangle with an altitude of less than 4 feet. Scroll back to the top of this section. Click on the Dome Calculator link. Enter 4.6 in the blue E strut field. Click Calculate. This makes a 28 foot diameter dome that is 14 feet tall. Scroll up and click on the Dome Panels and Coverings link. Scroll down to the DED triangles. This triangle is now less than 4 feet in altitude for either orientation. And the 10 EEE triangles have an altitude of 3 feet 11 and 3 fourths inches, which is slightly less than 4 feet, so that this dome can now be covered with 4 foot wide material. Now there is a much better way to do this. Scroll up and notice that there are five different types of triangles for the four frequency dome. These triangles are complicated and this makes the four frequency and higher frequency domes very hard to cover. Click the construction diagram link. See how complex the pattern of triangle placement is? And notice the scaling CFD triangles. If you were to sew a covering with these triangles and got just one of these triangles reversed, the dome covering would not fit. When we decided to make a dome covering, we knew we did not want to make our first covering for this dome, as it is just too easy to make a mistake with a four frequency dome. Let's choose another dome. Scroll up and click the dome calculator link. And on the navigation bar, go to the 3 frequency 5 8 dome. Click on the dome panels and coverings link. Notice that there are only two isosceles triangles that need to be covered for the 3 frequency dome, as compared to five different triangles for the 4 frequency dome. There are just 30 CBC triangles and 75 ABA triangles for 105 total triangles to cover this dome. Click the construction diagram. Notice that the 30 CBC triangles are grouped together into red pentagons. And that the 75 ABA triangles are grouped together into blue hexagons. By choosing the three frequency dome, this made sewing our cover together much easier. All we had to do was to cut just two triangle shapes and then assemble them into red pentagons and blue hexagons, then attach these together into a dome covering. Scroll up and click on the dome calculator link. The three frequency dome we covered used the super six inch hubs, 
which has a center ring that adds three and a half inches to every strut length. This center ring will affect the size of the triangles to be covered. So for this project, we set the radio button to the super six inch hubs, which adds the center ring distance to the calculation. We purchased a roll of ripstop polyester fabric that was five feet wide. And our dome had already been made with five foot long blue struts. Would we be able to cover this dome with a five foot wide fabric? Let's put five in the blue strut field and click calculate. This produces a 25 foot wide dome that is 15 feet tall in the center. Click on the dome panels and coverings. The dimensions of the CBC triangles are only 3 feet 7 and 3 fourths inches in altitude and so can easily be cut from 5 foot wide material. While the B strut length is 4 feet 10 and 5 eighths inches, the addition of the 3.5 inch center ring makes the B edge of this triangle an actual length of 5 feet 2 and 1 eighth inches. And the C strut is 4 feet 2 and 1 eighth inches, but with the addition of the 3.5 inch center ring, this makes the triangle edge 4 feet 5 and 5 eighths inches. The ABA triangles have an altitude of 4 feet 7 and 3 eighths inches, which will fit our 5 foot wide ripstop polyester roll. And the edges of this triangle, including the center ring, will be 5 feet 3 and 1 half inches, and 5 feet 2 and 1 eighth inches. To make our coverings, we took these dimensions and added 1 inch to every dimension so that we could overlap the fabric when sewn together. We made a paper template for each triangle and then cut the fabric according to the template. Each hexagonal and pentagonal section was secured to the dome using Velcro straps. Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.